Hey everyone. All right, today's video is over angle relationships. Your objective, I will be able to solve angle relationship problems with equations. So let's review. An acute angle is less than 90 degrees. A right angle is exactly 90 degrees. And an obtuse angle is greater than 90 degrees. So let's talk about what complementary and supplementary angles are. Complementary angles are angles that have a sum of 90 degrees. So in this picture, we see an angle of 30 and an angle of 60 degrees. And if we were to add those together, their sum would be 90. So these are complementary angles. So there are a couple of tricks to help you remember that. I like to say it is right to complement someone. And when we think of right, we think of 90 degrees or you can take the C and complementary and you can make a nine out of it. So then we see that 90 degrees. Supplementary angles are angles that have a sum of 180 degrees. So in this picture, if we were to add 65 and 115, we would get 180. And notice that supplementary angles form a straight line. Now a trick for supplementary angles, you can take the S and you can make an eight out of it. So you know supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. All right, whenever we have two lines that are intersecting, we have vertical and adjacent angles. Vertical angles are the angles that are opposite of one another. And they're actually always congruent. So in this picture, that means that angle one and angle three are vertical angles, so they are congruent. And as you can see in the picture, the angles look like they would measure the same amount. So angle one and angle three would be congruent. And then angle two and angle four, those are vertical angles, so they would be congruent as well. Now adjacent angles are angles that are right next to each other and they form a linear pair. So as you can see here, angle two and angle three are adjacent. Angle one and angle two, angle one and angle four, angle four and angle three. So any angles that are right next to each other, those are going to be adjacent and notice how they form a straight line. So they're gonna add up to 180. So we could say that angle two and angle three are adjacent. And we could also say that angle one and angle four are adjacent. But you could say one and two are adjacent, three and four are adjacent, it's up to you. But go ahead and write down two examples of adjacent angles. All right, let's solve some problems that involve angle relationships, and we're going to use equations to do that. So in example one, we see an angle that measures 45 degrees, and we see an angle that whose measurement we don't actually know. It, we're, it's just represented with three X. So we can see that this is a 90 degree angle. So if I were to add these two angles together, it would equal 90 degrees. So that means three X, plus 45 would equal 90 degrees. Now we just have a two-step equation. So I'm gonna bring the equal sign down. I'm gonna move the constant first. So we're gonna subtract 45 on each side. That cancels, we're left with three X. 90 minus 45 is 45. The inverse of multiplying by three would be to divide by three. So X would equal 15. So now I'm just gonna check that. So three times 15 plus 45 should equal 90. Well, three times 15 is 45. And 45 plus 45 does equal 90. All right, in example two, we have an angle that's represented by X plus five, and we have an angle that's represented by 120 degrees. So I can see that these two angles are adjacent, 
and they form a straight line, so that means that they must equal 180 degrees. So if I were to add x plus 5 and 120, it should equal 180 degrees. Now, here I have a 5 and a 120. I can actually combine those to make 125. So that means x plus 125 equals 180. Now I just have a one-step equation. So I'm going to subtract 125 from each side. So x would equal 55. And if I were to check that, that means 55 plus 5 plus 120 should equal 180. Well, 55 plus 5 is 60, and 60 plus 120 would be 180. So we know that our answer is correct. Now, if the problem were to ask you uh, what's the degree measurement for an angle, you would simply say, well, if x equals 15, 3 times 15 is 45. So this measures 45 degrees. And for this angle, we know x is 55. So 55 plus 5 is 60. So this angle would actually measure 60 degrees. All right, let's do some examples with two intersecting lines. So on example three, we have some vertical angles because they are opposite of one another. We know that vertical angles are congruent, so that means that 37 must equal 7x minus 5. So now we just have another two-step equation. So I'm going to add 5 to each side. Thirty-seven plus five is forty-two. I'm going to divide by seven on each side. So x equals six. So now I'm going to check. So seven times six minus five should equal thirty-seven. Well, seven times six is forty-two. And 42 minus 5 is 37. And then obviously we know that this angle has to measure 37 degrees since they are vertical. All right, example four, we have adjacent angles. They are right next to each other and they form a straight line. So that means they have to add up to 180 degrees. So that means 4x plus 116 equals 180 degrees. So I'm going to subtract 116 from each side. I'm going to have to borrow. 10 minus 6 is 4, 7 minus 1 is 6, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So now we're going to divide by 4 on each side. Now I'm going to come over here to the side to work that out. So top dog goes in the house. Four goes into six one time with two left over. And four goes into 24 six times. So x would equal 16. So let's check that. So that means four times 16 plus 116 should equal 180. Well, we know 4 times 16 is 64. And if I were to actually work out 116 plus 64, 6 plus 4 is 10, 2 plus 6 is 8, we do get 180, so we know that our answer is good. And since we know that x is 16, we know that this angle would measure 64 degrees. All right, now it is time for you to try. Make sure you show all of your work and bring your notes with you to class. And we will see you next class day.